entering the mammalian excretory system. This is a human kidney. The excretory system consists of a pair of organs, each about 10 cm in length. As well as organ for transporting and storing urine, urine produced by kidney as it through a duct called ureter. Here, a pair of ureter, number two. The two ureter drain into a common sac called urinary bladder. During urination, urine is expelled from the bladder through a tube called urethra. Okay, now we continue on kidney structure. Okay, each kidney has an outer renal cortex and an inner renal medulla. Both regions are supplied with the blood by a renal artery and rim by a renal vein. With the cortex and medulla lie tightly packed excretory tubules and associate blood vessels. The excretory tubules carry and a process of filtrate produced from the blood entering the kidney. Nearly all the fluids in the filtrate is reabsorbed into a surrounding blood vessel and exit the kidney in a renal green, blue color. The remaining fluids leave the excretory tubule as urine is collected in the inner renal pelvis, brown color, and exit the kidney via the ureter. Okay, next part is the osmo regulations of humans. Okay, we go to detail as a kidney as a excretory organs and how kidney regulates and the formation of urine. And last part, we go role of ADH and aldosterone. Okay, in water break, uh, a specialized organ called kidney function in both as an excretion and also as possible regulation. The excrete of nutritious waste in the form of urea and also we also regulates by control solute concentration and to balance water gain and loss. Okay, look at the structure of kidney. The kidney divide into two regions the outermost layer known as a renal cortex and the inner is a inner renal medulla. Both regions are supplied with blood by a renal artery and drained by a renal vein. Okay, the vivi back and forth across a renal cortex and medulla called nephron. Okay, what is a nephron? Different functions, units of vertebrate kidney. Okay, parts of kidney. Okay, we'll look at number one. The outermost layer is a renal cortex. The structure of smooth and uh, in the renal cortex, location for bulbous capsules, glomerulus, proximal, and distal tubule. The inner part is a renal medulla. Uh, both regions are supplied with blood by renal artery and drained by a renal vein. With the cortex and medulla lie tightly packed excretory tubules and associate blood vessels. The excretory tubules carry and process of filtrate produced from the blood entering the kidney. Nearly all the fluid in the filtrate is reabsorbed into a surrounding blood vessel and exit the kidney in the renal vein. The remaining fluids leave the excretory tubule as urine. It is collected in the inner renal pelvis and exit the kidney via the ureter. Okay, now look at the renal pelvis. It's a funnel shape. You see that receive a urine drain from the kidney therefore we are the okay we look at structure of kidney the outer 
outer layer is a radial cortex the inner is a radial vesicula okay we have two blood vessel here the radial artery is a red color and uh, carry deoxygenated blood is a radial red, blue color Okay, the gold color is a radial pelvis, which is functional radial pelvis to collect the urine and exit the kidney via ureter. Okay, next is a nephron. Okay, which is the nephron uh, as a functional unit of the vertebrate kidney. Of the roughly 1 million nephrons in the human kidney, the 85% are cortical nephrons and the radical is tukta bedouri nephrons. Okay, what's the difference between cortical nephrons and tukta bedouri nephrons? Okay. The distance for cortical nephrons are short distance into medulla. Compared to Jukta Bernary Defrost, they are D into the medulla. Okay, this is uh, essential for production of urine that is hyperosmotic to body fluids and also as a key adaptation for water conservation in mammal. Okay, humans as yes, uh, mammalians have a pair of kidney uh, to control water balance and salt. Okay, so each kidney are supplied with the blood by a radial artery and radial vein. And they also have a ureter to exit of urine and both ureter drain into a common urinary bladder at starting urine. Here is a nephron which is consists of single long tubule, okay, purple color, and a ball of capillaries called glomerulus that filter blood. Okay, here is a bobber capsule. Okay. Bobber capsule surrounds and receives a filtrate from the glomerulus that connect with the proximal tubule okay function to reabsorb water salt glucose and amino acid okay next is the lips of henry to maintain the concentration of gradients and the last part is a distal tubule or distal convoluted tubule. It's a tubular secretion of hydrogen ion, potassium, and certain drug. Urine as a watery discharge of urinary system is produced by a combination of three processes as stated in this slide. The first one is a filtration by glomerulus. The second one is a tubular reabsorption, and the last one is a tubular secretion. Okay, the three steps: filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. Filtration only in glomerular, reabsorption in proximal, continue in distal, and last one in collective duct, and secretion special for proximal and distal tubule and next explanation formation of urine in the next video thank you before we discuss detail how from blood filtrate to urine we look at three factor contribute the production of Glomerular filtrate. The first one because of hydrostatic pressure in glomerular capillaries 
is higher than other capillaries. Why? This is because of high resistance to outflow present by the efferent arteriole is smaller than afferent arterioles. The second one because of large surface area uh, for filtration that provide highly coiled granular capillaries and the third one because of the great probability of glomerulus capillaries. This is because of numerous small pores between the endothelial cell make the glomerular capillaries more porous than typical capillaries. Okay, it starts from the blood carry uh, by efferent go to glomerulus. Okay, then the blood is filtered as a blood pressure. They have a force during through the porous capillaries wall and a filtered slit. As we know, glomerulus capillary is a permeable to water and possible dissolved molecules such as salt, glucose, amino acid, vitamins, urea, and deuterium sweets. They are not permeable to large molecules such as blood cell and blood plasma. Next, the filtrate moves out into efferent arterioles. Okay, this slide show cut away view of bubble capsule. The distal tubule is adjacent to the efferent and efferent arterioles. Uh, the jukta glomerular apparatus is a small group of the cell located in the wall of tubule and arterioles. The wall of bobbin capsule in contact with the capillaries causes a specialized epithelial cell called podocyte. These cells have numerous cytoplasmic extension called food processes that cover most of the surface of glomerular capillaries. Fruit processes of adjacent podocytes are separated by their gap called filtration slit. The porous wall of glomerular capillaries and the filtrate slits of the podocyte form a filtration membrane that permits fluids and small solutes such as glucose and amino acid pass through and become parts of the glomerular filtrate. This filtration membrane holds back blood cells platelets and most of the plasma protein.